hi friends welcome back to my channel tech and art hope you guys doing good today i'm going to discuss about the sql server capacity management okay so if you are supporting a database admin role okay so you need to just uh, focus about the capacity planning so capacity planning also a major role uh, for that particular project okay so uh, when i say the capacity management so it's like you know the particular application how much you know the storage capacity is required in the coming quarter okay lot of tools there third party tools we can use that auto tool for the automated process if you don't have you know tools the project budget is not that much so we can use the couple of uh, you know script and uh, still we can do the automation through that way okay so we'll discuss in details okay so before starting the session i would request to each and everyone whoever newly join on the channel please like to subscribe and if you like the video press the like button or also you can on join as a member by clicking the join button okay let me start so firstly uh, you know we'll understand the capacity management okay so whoever newly join in a sql area sql dba roles okay so basically you know if you are going to support any project project so for a critical database not only critical all the database are required to do a capacity planning okay so like let's say uh, the coming quarter how much storage capacity because storage is too costly okay so you need to uh, drive a plan like that okay uh, how much storage is required for the coming quarter for a particular database so for that you need to uh, you know well prepared for with the capacity planning okay so a uh, lot of as i told you uh, nowadays lot of tools we can use the capacity planning but if you don't have okay so couple of script which can help you a lot so this is the one of the script which will give you the exact overview about your capacity planning okay so i will share this script to description you can also utilize it so let me describe this script actually so if you basically this script is taking a details from your database backup so how you can do the capacity planning for your database okay so based on the backup only right if our other files database files also so through two way we can do the capture the records so if backup is going to increase uh, you know so which means you know uh, you need to do the analysis uh, how much average uh, growth is happening on the particular backups through that way you can keep a track how much space is occupying or either the database files also if files is going too far uh, uh, rapidly so you can do an analysis how much is, uh, you know file growth is happening so in this script i am going to take the help of backups okay as you can see i have used the backups uh, you know uh, tables uh, under the msdb backups files okay through uh, from there i am taking the records let me execute this script then you can give the exact view as you can see i just click the execute okay so what are the things coming as a output so database name the year and month okay and the size minimum size max size and the average size in mb and the growth okay so growth is in this two database null as i told this is my sister local uh, test instance so there is nothing growth so but in your case definitely you will see the growth in mb okay and if you can see here lot of database only two database is coming because i haven't taken let me take the database four backup also let's see right now i'm going to take the backups uh, let's see okay i will use this one only let me click on execute so hopefully now it will capture the database uh four backups also record so now you can see the four also having the null so whatever the backup or uh, sorry the database present on a particular instance it will capture the records and through this way you can uh, keep a track or keep analysis how much growth is happening in mb okay through this way you can keep a track and you can project uh, you know uh, how much space is required in a quarter so this is script you can do the automation you can schedule a task and <coughs> you know uh, further you can get a output so through that way you can automate this process okay so uh, let me describe a bit a script here also whatever the database you don't need i removed the you know the system database or any other database like a admin database or whatever uh, so you when you want to remove from this uh, uh, 
result uh, you can put it the database name here and similarly if you want to capture the you know the differential backup files so you can just simply replace the d with l it will give you the differential details okay so this uh, script is really really helpful to you know do the capacity management planning traditional approach as i told you lot of couple of advanced approach now if you don't have you can use this uh, script i will share this uh, script to in a description you can utilize it and you can also keep a track how much growth is happening and based on only that growth only you can project a quarter plan how much capacity is required okay so only you can capture the details with the help of backups file or either database files okay so this uh, script will help you from the backup files so i will put the uh, script in a description you can take it from there okay well that's it for today we'll meet you soon till then bye bye thank you and keep watching and keep sharing the video to others also can get the help and if you interested please join the members okay thank you